Three reasons we see software engineers moving over to a data engineering role in record pace. We're going to go over those three reasons, and then I'm going to give you the top three things you as a software engineer can do to best prepare yourself to land that higher paying data job. So what are the top three reasons we see software engineers starting to migrate? Well, number one, and this might be an unpopular opinion, the software engineering field is starting to get slightly saturated, slightly more competitive. Specifically, if you're getting out of college, it has never been harder to land a software engineering role. Why? Because everybody who has a CS degree directly goes to try to get that software engineering role. However, companies always want more for less. So companies, what they're going to do is try to see, okay, do you have software engineering skills? And do you have data skills? So even if it's something as simple as data visualization, SQL, dashboarding, if you have that on top of your software engineering skills, you have now all of a sudden become slightly more competitive. So that's how you fight a quote unquote, more saturated market. You make yourself more competitive. What's the second reason software engineers are moving over to a data engineering role? The second reason is because the job has started to overlap with a lot of data centric work as is. What I mean by that is, instead of just having software engineering deployment models, now software engineers are starting to build in data centric cubes anyways. More software engineers are building on top of cloud. More software engineers are having to generate massive amounts of data. So they have to learn how to sift through the data and work with data anyways. So as software engineers have started to see this trend, they realize, oh, there's other positions to go and get, go and learn, and maybe even make more money if you join a company that is in demand of that data role, such as a data engineer, cloud engineer, etc. And what is the third reason we are starting to see this migration? No myth at all, unless you've been living under a rock, because AI, right? AI is telling everybody, putting everybody on notice that, hey, your job as a coder and even non-coder is going to be done a lot faster with or without you, right? The best engineers in the world are trying to figure out how they can use AI to write their code, to deploy their models a lot faster in record speed. In fact, Jeff Bezos and Amazon reported that they were able to do something crazy like $400 million worth of development time in like 90% cheaper costs. And this was just a test. So you best believe Amazon is going to use AI and run it through the entire company to develop things faster. Now, it might not lead to layoffs, but it might lead to less hiring because of more efficient processes. So software engineers are aware of that and software engineers are starting to see what else is out there for them to learn so that they can become and stay as competitive as ever before.